Okay, we are playing some best of one magic again with Boros Token. So this is a different take on a deck here where, you know, our goal is to make some 4-4 four, four Angel Tokens with Divine Visitation. And the way that we're going to be trying to do that is to have permanents on the battlefield like Lane and War Leader, Legion War Boss, and Tilanali's Summoner already out where on turn five we can just slam Divine Visitation and then immediately make four four angel tokens that are attacking, whether it's between War Leader, Summoner, or War Boss. So that's our that's the goal of our deck. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, question is, why not include a couple Dawn of Hope for late game purposes also? I think our I think we're not we're not really trying to to go towards the late game too much. We want to uh, try to finish the game quickly and best of one decks while there are some control decks there's not a lot of control decks where we'd want Dawn of Hope um, Dawn of Hope would kind of go in the same slot as Tilanali's Summoner um, but this card's a little different you know that's what that's what you know this is a donation deck I didn't build this deck but that's what the person that built this deck is building around they just want to play Tilanali Summoner and so we're trying to find a shell to play this card and so that's what we have here. We have a shell to play this card. Um, a Johnny minuses to get back Summoner, which is really nice uh, for us. So that's something that Johnny does. And then also it can kind of make our creatures bet bigger. Like following up history of Benalia with a Johnny is a really strong uh, play. And so that's why we have a Johnny. Uh, no Siege Gang Commander. We have our curve a little lower. Um, but Siege Gang is pretty nice with Divine Visitation. Um, I could certainly see wanting to play some Siege Gang Commanders. And maybe instead, maybe like, you know, while we play this, I'm kind of interesting interested to see how Response Resurgence plays out. But that could be a place where Siege Gang Commander could enter into the deck, like, instead of Response Resurgence. Um, and yeah, Johnny's kind of like our backup plan of, like, just making our creatures bigger and going towards the ultimate and making our opponent focus on that. So we got some best of one action here. So let's go back to constructed event. And let's try it out. 500 gold, Boros tokens, best of one. Oh, that's a good point. We have Takali Honor Guard. That's a good point. So yeah, with Takali Honor Guard, we don't want Siege Gang Commander because then Takali Honor Guard's in play. Siege Gang Commander is just a five mana two two, even with Divine Visitation. Not really. I don't think so. Uh, for like the question of does MTGA have a different meta compared to FNM? I wouldn't think so. Probably about the same. You'll probably play more random decks at FNM. But I guess it's also... Sorry. It depends on the store. I would assume also. Some stores are more casual. Some stores are more competitive. So it kind of depends on the store. FNM meta game really does vary quite a bit store by store. Well, this is a really strong hand. We have Takali Honor Guard and then History History. <laughs> Takali Honor Guard doing its thing. Maybe we should just go with War Boss. Nah. Getting History Banali is in play is the way to go. Oh, yeah. Nidal says that they found that out the hard way with uh, having Honor Guard in play and then trying to play Siege King. Um, what happened to playing Modern? It's just not... It's not as enjoyable as Standard. And... I've always been a person in general that's like Standard more than Modern. Um, but I've always played Modern for playing on, like, the SCG Tour. But I've always liked standard more myself because there's lots of like kind of mid range type magic. Like this is just and like interactive magic. It's just magic I enjoy more. Whoa, that's not a card I was expecting. Arbor Armam armament. Okay, but uh, besides that. Arena is a lot more fun than Magic Online. 
um, get a lot more viewers and everything with Arena also and with Standard. So just kind of putting it together, it's just not really worth it to play Modern on Arena these days. Or sorry, Modern on Magic Online. Yeah, didn't play around Arbor Armament. We had another Tkali Honor Guard in hand, though, so even with it dying, wasn't a big deal. Okay, Pickle Slick. That's a that's a good suggestion of, like, maybe I, I rate the cards, the decks afterwards. There'll be a decent amount of decks, though, that I'll play, I'll be playing multiple times. And so I think what I'm going to try to do is have, like, a playlist... So, you know, like a deck like Hadana's Stompy or Bant Legends, like decks that I'll be playing multiple times. I'm going to try to have like a playlist on YouTube where I'll put them all together. I wish on Stream Decker where the deck lists are at on Stream Decker, I wish there was like places for notes like that. Um, I could, I would be able to like type in some sideboarding tips or, uh, or, you know, kind of talk about that, like, like uh, saying if I if I like the deck a lot or if I didn't like the deck. Um, when people are just kind of scrolling through, looking at the deck list. All right, well, we're gonna play Tilanali Summoner next turn. Got it in play. It is super fragile. Super fragile-listic. Yep, you can find the Grixis discard deck on Stream Deckers. Yep. So streamdecker.com slash deck slash Todd Stevens MTG. You can find the Grixis discard deck there or all the other... All of my other decks that we play here on stream. Ritual of Soot? I don't think I need to play around Ritual of Soot. Maybe I should, though. Oh, you said you can't find it. I just read your... I just read your question. I thought you were saying, hey, can I find your deck there? And I was like, yeah, you can find it there. But now I realize you said you can't find it. So. Grixis discard. Boom. There it is. Yep, so just kind of scroll down. Just kind of, just kind of look. There you go. And yeah, somebody linked it in chat right before you. Um... So it would be really nice to be able to wait for Divine Visitation for this, but I think we'll just play the Heroic Reinforcements. Oh yeah, you can control F also, that's a good, that's a good feature, just use control feature, control F. Yeah, the arena overlay is not working currently, just not working. So if I play the other Heroic Reinforcements, and then they have another Ritual of Soot, I'm kind of dead. Not really exactly dead. But I think I'd rather just Conclave Tribunal and take the Search Risk Canta. And I'll try to get Divine Visitation before this. Okay, so they would negate the Heroic Reinforcement. So I'm glad Heroic Reinforcements did not get negated. Control F is like find. It's like a, a search function, so you, you can type Control F into like your web page and it'll find and type in words and you can go straight to those words. You could type in like Grixis discard and it'll look for Grixis discard. Alright, so I'm gonna play Divine Visitation here. No. 
Opponents confirmed rude. Oh yeah, not in game. No. Have more counter magic? Just countering everything. So many main deck negates. Yeah, unfortunately this card just isn't doing anything at all. Well, it gets discarded. Okay. We got Divine Visitation. We got a plan. Yeah, no problem, Pedro. Ugh. Plan's not working out. So we need we need another heroic reinforcements. If you lava coil a journey to eternity enchanted creature, does it still come back? No. Journey to eternity needs the creature to die to come back. And lava coil exiles it so it does not die. Alright, they have their sinister sabotage. Not. Oh gosh, it's like our worst threat in the deck. I was gonna say they have they have their shields down, so we want some kind of good threat there, and it's the worst one. Hey, good job! You just got constructed mythic. Way to go! What? Unmoored ego? Man, we're gonna lose in best of one to somebody that just has unmoored ego. That's unfortunate. Sure. So they just took out two heroic reinforcements from our deck. Oh no! That's rude. Honor Guard's eating a Contempt. Yeah, I mean, they're going to win with it because just Searcher's Kanta is just too powerful. Searcher's Kanta has already gotten them a removal spell and a Sabotage and an Eldest Reborn. Or discard spell. So they can get Legion War Boss with Eldest Reborn. Yeah, those three counter spells that they had were kind of tough. I think I can just concede here. I don't think we're gonna beat Nascanta, no. Alright, one on one.
Any tips of what to board out of the main deck against Mono Red for your Grixis discard build? Um... You don't do very much sideboarding in that matchup. I don't think you do. Probably just take out, like maybe you just want to take out disinformation campaigns. Hopefully we get this land and get to go towards history banalias. Our opponent's on six. Angrath the Flame Chain is the worst, probably the worst card. Probably like Angrath and Disinformation Campaign. Um, or actually, I don't like Golden Demise too much there. You have Ritual of Sid instead. So maybe Angrath Golden Demise. You bring in Dire Fleet. Negate. Crater Maker. Um. Kill the crater maker. I don't have any rank at best of one. I've never played a best of one ranked team in my life. Alright, history time. Is Golgari midrange getting anything good in the new set? Oh, Daredevil Coil. That's pretty nice. Um, they'll probably get something, but nothing yet. We're probably going to start seeing like three color decks instead of just Golgari. It'll probably be like decks like Jund. Uh, they can add red in for other things or, or so on. I think we're going to start seeing some three color decks. Pond's hand was really good for six. Two drop into War Boss into Daredevil Lava Coil. That's pretty strong. All right, so we're gonna block War Boss and block a one one. Take six down to eight. We really, really need the fourth land one of these last two turns. I guess the last turn we didn't really need it. We had the other history, but not only, but this, by this turn we needed it. Um, summoner or Tribunal? Summoner just doesn't do anything. Like on this battlefield. I guess I'm going to play Tribunal. Is there a reasonable alternative for Thief of Sandy and Grixis Cyborg? Yeah. Um, like for Grixis Teferi, I think you mean? Because that one I have. That one can be kind of anything. I don't really care for Thief of Sandy too much in Cyborg, honestly. My favorite Grixis deck is the Grixis Discard, this, this Grixis deck. And that one I do not have. I do not have um, Thief of Sandy at all. A Johnny would be nice, but I'm gonna I'm gonna play Lane and War Leader. Hey, Afterburner, thanks for the bit. Nah. 
Now, ideal scenario, so this is just whenever it attacks, we get two uh, cat creature tokens. Um, ideal scenario is we get into land, we get to play Divine Visitation, we get to attack and attack with two angels, and they're at eight, and the angels finish them off. That's ideal scenario. Hey, Fina man. I'm just blocking. I think the later game kind of works for us, and I don't. I don't want to get. I don't want them just to like. Okay. I don't want them to just. Uh, play some burn spells and kill us. Hmm. Speaking of burn spells to kill us. Yeah, Takali just too late, right? Hey, Professor Knox. Takali just turned too late. Uh, Todd, when you cast Urza's Blast, will it destroy enchantments that opponents control? Yes, it will exile every permanent that's not legendary, so including the enchantments, artifacts, everything like that. No two drops in the graveyard. Graveyard is just history, history, war leader. Hey, honor guard, not too late. Look at that, not too late. And they did not kill summoner. So I think that's going to mean we're going to win this. Yeah. That should be a win with summoner. Man, we get to do exactly what we wanted to do. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, they just didn't realize that this was going to happen. <laughs> Reading cards in 2018. Nobody reads cards anymore. Nobody reads cards. 20 damage, or six, yeah, 20 damage upstairs. That's fine, I'll take that. Yeah, they just played the five mana 2-2. Two -two. You know, didn't decide to use their Siege Gang at all. Wow, I thought we were going to lose that. Hey, even if we lose our other two matches, we did exactly what we came here to do. We used Tilanali Summoner to make a bunch of angels and kill our opponent. That's exactly what we were here to do. <laughs> I love watching the opponent's mouse hovering nervously over whatever is slaying them. Yeah, they're like, wait a minute. This card does what? <laughs> Dude, Haphazard Bombardment. I am not happy with that card. Because I was playing the Haphazard Bombardment deck. And my opponent kept Ixalan's binding my stuff. And it just says non-enchantment permanent on there for some reason. Like, why does Haphazard Bombardment need to say non-enchantment permanent? Like, can't it just destroy enchantments? Like, that made me real sad. Alright, not bolting summoner. So they could certainly just have Chain Whirler and Chain Whirler the uh, summoner. Yeah, and red just never gets enchantment removal. I mean, they have a couple of things like, you know, like Chaos, whatever, like the commander card, the three mana thing that shuffles a permanent uh, from, like, into your library. They have a couple things, but. Not much. Reinforcements! Attack! Chaos Warp. There we go. That card. Mm. 
I'm honestly pretty surprised they didn't just double block with lava runners like a like the summoner or something just to trade one trade one lava runner for the Tilinali summoner. Hey, bo badder than you. What's up? What is this thing? It's a pilgrim. Three one haste. That's not nearly as good as Goblin Chain Whirler. Not nearly as good. I gotta pay X plus another one. I don't have the other one. An opponent makes blocks. That they're t them taking lethal. Okay, never mind. They changed it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, so why the nice shirt and tie? It's just, I, I, I like how I look in a dress shirt and a tie, and so it's how I like to present myself. I'm, I feel comfortable with the dress shirt and tie, and just how I like to present myself. No, our opponent didn't let us to Lanali summoner them. No. Three and one. Just killing people quickly. Wow. Talk about lucky. So we have our, we get a random reward card for the 15th win of the day, and it's a mythic. Kindling Phoenix. That's a good card. And we got Guilds of Ravnica pack. Um, so, yeah, I get the dress shirts from a few different places. Uh, Probably the dress shirts that fit the best on me that I like the most have been Mark Anthony shirts uh, from Kohl's. Would you say red white is better than green white? Still trying to figure out what deck to make. Use my wild cards to make is it Drake's and it just doesn't feel very fun. Thinking about making green white tokens. Yeah, I like. I think green white tokens is better than than Boros tokens. We're playing a kind of a different jankier deck, but green white tokens is the stronger deck. All right, let's get this pack. Guilds of Ravnica, give me your best guess. What are we what are we opening from Guilds of Ravnica here? Give me your best deck. Give me your best guess. I'm guessing let's see, I said I said Bounty of Might last time, so I'm gonna say Firemind's Research. That's a good one. Ooh. Ad shooter just going straight with the Charnel Troll. So that's what we opened up last time. Just doubling down. Um all right, we got tons of guesses here. Multiple people saying Drowned Secrets. Then, of course, Narcomibas, Trophies. Multiple people saying Narcomibas. Fine Finality, Doom Whisper, Watery Grave, Lazav, Legion War Boss, Niv Mizzet, Thousand Eyes, Fine Finality, Quasi Duplicate, Thousand Year Storm. Does Thousand Eyes count as Thousand Year Storm? I don't think so. Thousand Year Storm. But yeah, we got a wild card. Before we're getting there. Okay, so Izoni is Thousand Eyes. Okay. So that was Izoni. So no, it didn't count. So nobody guessed it. Nobody guessed it. I think that's the first pack today out of four that nobody guessed it, right? Oh, no, no. Nobody guessed Charnel Troll either. So, so far, we've guessed two out of four today. Milk, a strawberry? Ugh, I like strawberry milk. Especially when I was a kid, I love strawberry milk. Strawberry ice cream was my favorite ice cream whenever I was a kid. Whenever I'd have to go to like the doctor to get shots, like, you know, like a tetanus shot or whatever, um, my parents would always kind of bribe me because I didn't like getting shots, of course. I, you know, I'm a kid who likes getting shots. Um, they'd bribe me by taking me to the, to an ice cream store and I would get, um, I would get uh, strawberry ice cream, like a big ice cream cone of strawberry ice cream. We'd go through like this drive-through that had this huge thing of strawberry ice cream I loved. Land? Oh yeah. History of Vinalia.
I'm not a kid and don't like getting shots. Ice cream would make it more convincing for me. <laughs> I like strawberry milk and it made me feel sick every time. Still wanted it. Aw, I'm sorry it made you feel sick. That's too bad. So we're winning the race at this point. Ugh. Tempest Jin could change that though. So uh, I'm going to play other. So I could Conclave Tribunal and attack with three creatures and flip Legion's Landing. I don't think. And so like, we could definitely like a Johnny next turn. I think I'd rather just have. Rather just have the other history banalia down so we're gonna play the other history we only get to attack for two this turn but we get tempest gen out of here and next turn for sherzies we have dubs history or we have one history coming off and we're gonna have three four three creatures so vanilla bear ice cream i think that means vanilla bean ice cream which vanilla bean ice cream is pretty good Hmm. Now what's the play? Now do I cast a Johnny into a potential spell pierce, or do I just activate summoner and make three tokens? So I shock and go down to nine. Attack with all these. Can they block? If they block like summoner, let's see, they take 12. Yeah, they would take lethal. So they have to trade Jin for a knight. But I guess they could have dive down and keep their Jin alive. But then they only have seven, so a land would mean eight. So I don't think I... So they could have land and Curious Obsession to kill me. If they have exactly dive down here, and then another island and a Curious Obsession, then I'm dead. Oh, uh, whatever. That's a lot. Oh, no, because I'm gaining a life from, from Vampire. So I'm not actually dead from that. Oh, stack these better, deck. Can these stack these so I can have the Legion's Landing flip and get that extra mana? That would have been nice. Why do I have to manually tap the mana? That's what auto tapper's for. Yeah, you have to... Yeah, you can change that in options to manually do that. Eh, that's too much work. I'm not... I'm not as concerned about it. Well, they made a bad block, put themselves dead. They had to block a 4-3. Um, not as concerned about it that uh, I'm going to go through and actually manually do it. I, I can just, I get the complain equity that I get to complain about it. You know, that's, that's some pretty good equity of being able to complain about it instead of actually doing it. See, we'll just win anyway. Like our opponent will just make a bad block and we'll just win. So it doesn't matter. But then we get to complain about it, so we get that equity. So there we go. All right, 4-1. Jack's going pretty strong so far. We've had a couple double history hands. Double history is kind of unbeatable, especially on the play. Oh yeah, I definitely hope the new Domri in the set is good. I can tell you this here, you can write it down. I will certainly be playing the new Domri from the next set in multiple decks. Even if it's not good, I'll be trying it out. I'll be playing it here. Domri is certainly my kind of my kind of planeswalker. I really liked the first one. All right, basic forest certainly kind of points towards Golgari. So let's get Honor Guard in play. Plus. Probably better turn two play anyway. <laughs> there you go, Terramorphos. Oh no, it was Golgari, and they cast down my creature. No, new new Domri has not been previewed yet. But. Well, yeah, maybe we'll draw Johnny, and we can minus and get to Kali Honor Guard back. Hmm. That thing out of here. Whew. Thankfully, our opponent didn't have whatever one mana 
instant that makes it indestructible that our last opponent had. No, Old Domri is not in Arena. It was from the set Geek Crash, which is not on Arena. It was cool. There's another one, Love Chop. That sixth mana Domri is for the Planeswalker decks. Is our opponent dead? Who knows? Let's find out. Looks like they're dead. Five and one. That was easy. There is a new there is a Boros Reckoner in standard, right? True Fire Captain. If they if like the new Domri allows you to fight your creatures also, doesn't True Fire Captain want that work? So all you need is new Domri to also have like minus two fight two creatures kind of thing. And then you can you can have your Domri raid Boros Reckoner interaction back. Hmm. We get to go first. Man, this hand would be so good if we draw if we had a red mana source. What's our mana base looking like? Eight plains, seven mountains. So we have fifteen red sources in our deck. So fifteen cards. We have two draws to draw one of fifteen cards to make this worthwhile. Yeah, Rev Daddy. Glad yeah, I'm glad we got the YouTube channel working also. Slipstream says way too risky. Let's do a poll in the chat. Should we keep or mull? So you're gonna have 30 seconds because I don't know how long we're gonna have. Keep or mull? 30 seconds. There you go, poll started. Make sure it's you're underneath poll started. Keep or mull? Kinda see going either way. Everybody's saying mulligan, though, except for the people who are saying keep. People saying keep have good trust in the deck. Yeah, little rope thing, just wait. We got five seconds left, little rope thing. Yeah, oh, almost a 60% chance. Yeah, that's not bad. Mul <laughs> mulligan had three times as many people say mulligan as keep. All right. We will keep, or we'll, we'll mulligan. We'll keep shuffling, that is. We decided to keep shuffling. And we've we'll, got a single history banale right now. Let's hopefully find another one. So I ditched the lava coil because it was not a history banale. Mm hmm. We already have one removal spell in our hand. I didn't want to just keep a second removal spell. I wanted to get more interaction. It's certainly possible we're playing against an opponent that the removal isn't good against. Like, we don't know what we're playing against. So we just don't need to keep Lava Coil when we, we don't know if our opponent is. Like, our, our opponent may be playing a deck where Lava Coil doesn't do anything. I think we you look for more proactive cards in that spot. We are in trouble. Their hand was awesome. Ours was not. If only we could Conclave Tribunal at instant speed. Of course, there's not really much to Conclave Tribunal right here, but... No, Rev Daddy, we actually... We went 0-3... I lost just a quick 103 there, and and we re redid it and uh, tried again after going 03, and then we went 72. I learned the deck a little more. I knew it was going going on a little better. And it worked out better. None of these cards do anything. Mm -hmm. 
yeah, so we got a couple donation decks for best of ones, which is why we're playing best of ones. So that that's when I play best of ones if people donate for best of one games. I'm fine with that. I got to height scores. Um. Hmm. What do we want to do here, Hawkeye? What do you think about putting new Domri in Green White Angels deck and put enchantment removal like Ixalan's Binding in the board because Mortify? Possible. I mean, new Domri is most likely going to be green and red, so you'd have to add another color to the Green White Angels. Kind of dead. So war leader only like only trades with just a firebrand, which is not a good trade for us. Heroic reinforcements. If we play these, they can just kill both reinforcements and hit us for three, and then we're dead to a burn spell. Again, not a good trade. I think the highest upside. Because we ha certainly have to block with War Leader. I think the highest upside, what could possibly happen, like the way that we could possibly win this, is if they do not use Firebrand on one of these and we get to chump Chain Whirler and we get to block like a regular Firebrand or something like that. Ugh. Well. Yeah, I couldn't win that. We don't know the new Domri raid yet. New Domri has not been previewed at all. All right, five and two. Still not bad. We'll see if we can get the last two wins and finish off with a seven and two. Our our other league that we did that we went seven and two with best of one. We were also five one and we lost to go five two and then we went win win for seven two. So. Maybe we'll be able to go same same path. 5-1, lose, and then win-win. All right, Hawkeye, that's a win-win. Domri's certainly going to be printed in the next set. They're, they don't have the Planeswalker deck Planeswalker and then not have the other one in the regular set, I don't believe. I don't think that's happened recently. Well, he's the leader of Gruul, I think you mean. Damri's Gruul, not Azorius. No, we do not have any Lyra Dawnbringers. Nope. There's a mirror match? We got a mirror match, Hawkeye? So if we draw the land next turn, I'm playing Lean and War Leader over Heroic Reinforcements. This is a mirror match. Whoa. One block. All right. Yeah. So then, if we are lucky enough to draw another land, we get to play Divine Visitation, attack with this, and make some angels. If you play Legendary and it makes you choose, you can't choose the wrong one, right? It'll always activate the new one. 
I mean, I guess you could choose the wrong one. I guess, yeah, it depends on... We really are playing a, a mirror. Hmm. Goodbye, everybody. All right, I'm playing this. I want to flip Legion's Landing. And that makes them have to attack with everything. Or sorry, block. That makes them have to block with everything if they want to kill War Leader. No, overlay's not working, Sonic View, Bob. It didn't work. It wasn't working yesterday or today. So they'll be able to flip their Legion's Landing. No! I wanted that in place still. I thought you could stack the triggers to give cats plus one plus one. Not not with that, because this is a sorcery that just happens. The the cats get the cats come into like the cats come into the battlefield later on. They don't kinda enter at the same time at all. Um All right, we'll see if we get to actually attack with this war leader now. We're winning this if we get to attack with war leader, which it looks like we get to attack with war leader. No, it is tapped in attacking. They're oh, but this isn't this isn't tapped in attacking yet. This is just a sorcery. Make the soldier soldiers they gain haste, and then so then you you have to play this, and then you go to combat. Like they get plus one plus one. Then you go to combat, and then you attack with this. So yeah, they, you can't, those are different phases. Oh, right, I could have played Honor Guard also. I don't know, I just miscounted, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I could have just played Honor Guard. Yeah, Hawkeye doesn't like that the reinforcements don't bump up the cats. So War Leader will die, because they'll be able to block with Aurelia and Honor Guard and a 1-1. One -one. But we'll make the two 4-4s. Four -four and I guess with the Danto, the first 4... We'll, we're going to start making more 4-4s four anyway. They do not have lifelink though, even though like this says with lifelink, because it just it like basically cancels out whatever tokens they were gonna make before, so now they're just four fours. Okay, well this is even better for me. I guess it's the same if they play if they just block with honor guard and token. Never mind, I get to cat get to block those two. So it's not better for me. Yeah, so we just trade for those two tokens, but we get a couple four fours. Yeah, tapped with vigilance. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Tapped and attacking with vigilance.
And again, if you want to watch these uh, replays, not muted, later on, if you miss some decks, you want to ever go back and watch them, you can check out the YouTube channel there. Feel free to follow along on the YouTube channel for the decks each day. I'm going to upload them mostly like we stream during the night, then I'll upload them the next day. I'll try to get like, you know, one or two videos up at night, but it takes about 40 minutes to an hour of upload time for each video for me. It's possible there's a some other way to be doing it that I don't know about. What do you think about a Naya modern deck with Soldier of the Pantheons and Goyfs and Abuse Clarion in combat? That sounds pretty sweet. Ooh. So if I cast Resurgence, they have to block with Aurelia. I guess they only have to block with Aurelia the second time, though. Yeah, that's not worth it. Not yet. Let's make another 4-4 four four with Divine Visitation and then cast Resurgence next turn. Yeah, to Tajik, we do not get to respond. We can't We can't respond to any creatures besides Tajik. We're gonna wait a turn and then resurgence next turn. Because Tajik prevent the non-combat damage. Hey! Divine Visitation! So that... This should be just a 4-4 with Vigilance now with War Boss. Yeah, because it's just a token that gains haste, so... They are going to have another creature. Hey, Eddie. Pangea, hello. I press the subscribe button on YouTube. So nice. The one of my favorite series has a YouTube channel. So excited. Thanks, Pangea. Let me make a 3 1 life linker. I don't think they want to attack with Aurelia because we get to just triple block Aurelia or, you know, double block Aurelia and kill it. Went 2 1 in st standard side events at GP Vancouver. Hey, good job. They gain first strike and vigilance, and there's another combat step. <sighs> All right, what's the cooler way to win? We win with either of these cards. Resurgence wins. Heroic reinforcements wins. Either one wins. What's the cooler way to win? I kind of feel like it's resurgence, right? Like, like we cast heroic reinforcements a bunch. It's got to be resurgence. Resurgence doesn't win? Pretty sure it does. Well, I'm casting Resurgence and I'm winning. Alright, got that game. Six and two. Yeah, we hadn't cast Resurgence yet, so I thought it was good to cast Resurgence to win. Yeah, it gives our creatures first strike. So that's why it won, because it gave our creatures first strike and gives them first strike and I think Vigilance. First strike and Vigilance, and then you um, get another combat step. How do you draw 15 lands in a row with scrying? I don't know. You gotta have like a lot of gotta have a lot of paint and a lot of patience. That would take a lot of time to draw 15 lands. Or 
Or maybe you just need ink if you're going that route. Alright, they played a mountain, so I'll play a mountain also. Is that a bobcat? No, it's Hawkeye. Hawkeye. He's the best. He's just close to the camera right now, so he looks big. I should probably be lava coiling that steamkin. I just kind of want to get Honor Guard down, so if they play Viachino Pyromancers or Goblin Chain Whirlers, they don't get no triggers from that. This is how I feel. I don't know if I should be attacking there, because I, I may not be blocking. Like, if they just attack with Steamkin here, I won't block, because then a Shock would kill Honor Guard. Two, do I care if Shock kills Honor Guard? No, I don't care if Shock kills Honor Guard. I'd rather Shock kill Honor Guard than Shock kill War Boss. Okay, we're still doing good here. Let's go Summoner plus Conclave Tribunal. So they're a little stuck on mana. They have not bolted War Boss yet, which is which is nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad we used the shock. I'm glad we they shocked the uh, Honor Guard. That's certainly a play that I am very glad happened right about now. Got all this cat here in my face now. There's a chain whirler. Dang, summoner down. Couldn't quite. Couldn't quite. Uh, we just need like one more turn. We couldn't quite get there to be able to attack with summoner. But we need even attack with summoner, then they just play chain whirler and kill the tokens afterwards. Um, Jazoski with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much for subscribing there. It's our eighth sub of the day. Did I get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub. Oh no, opponent's killing all our stuff. All right, Divine Visitation. All right, let's take it to Lanali Summoner. It's not a good card against Chain Whirler. And our opponent has lots of Chain Whirlers. Hmm. So I'm going to end step Memorial to Glory, put two 1-1s one into play and be able to attack with some creatures and flip legion's landing that's my that's my goal hmm. i still have three creatures to attack with um Hmm. We have one blocker back.
Yeah, no, we're not. Yeah, we're not to Grixis Dragons yet. We are at Boros Tokens right now. So this is our list. We go down the list. Um, we started with Masterminds Toolbox, then Band Legends. We're on Boros Tokens right now, and then we'll have Grixis Dragons after this. Yeah, that's a good point. I did let, let Honor Guard die, and then they just had a bunch of Changelers and everything. They cast the Wizards. They cast multiple Wizards Lightnings though after that shock. So I assume one of these Wizards Lightnings would have killed my Honor Guard, but it did give us a chance. Yeah, it gave us a chance with the match, but ah. Uh. 6-3, didn't get the 7 win, but that's still doubling up our, you know, we doubled up our wins to losses, certainly very good. We uh, gained gold, got a few rares, let's see what our prizes are. We got a rare and a mythic. Yeah, 6-3 is certainly good. Um, that's some really cool art on this Forsaken Sanctuary, by the way. That's That's some really good art for this card. Yeah. DD stands for donation deck, and these two decks have, uh, we've they've been best of one deck. So best of one you play till seven wins or three losses instead of five wins or two losses like our normal decks. All right, and our rare is Connive Concoct. Forgot that that was a card. Forgot about that card. And our mythic is. Sarkin Fireboy. Who are you to call me mad? You can see the deck list here. Exclamation point deck. We're doing best of one because they're they are uh, donation decks. So you know people donate to see their deck that they have best of one deck. Um. But yeah, I liked it. So any pointers on the deck? Um. I like the deck. the The card that I dislike the most and that I think just doesn't really need to be in the deck is Response. I think that that's just kind of overkill, like the Resurgence and Response Resurgence. This is certainly my least favorite card in the deck. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I'd rather have. I don't really have a great suggestion for something else, but I don't think that card's necessary. I kind of wouldn't mind more Lean and War Leaders. That card was pretty impressive, but. We do have a lot of four drops. Kind of want just like another two drop, like maybe a Danto Vanguard, or I guess a Danto Vanguard's not really that great against all these red decks and stuff. Yeah, donate donation is just twenty dollars, and you can pick which day of the week and which slot first, second, or third, first, second, third, or fourth for your deck. Lots of information about donating for donation decks down underneath um, in the donation deck or the donation uh, panel. Just tons of things that you can donate for. You can even donate for um like if you want like a sideboard guide for your modern deck all that kind of stuff if you want help with the deck offline also all that kind of stuff so lots of things that you can donate towards and yeah so check that out even if you're here on youtube you can go over to my stream channel twitch.tv slash todd stevens mtg and check that out um yeah maybe dawn of hope would be good like maybe maybe that's actually honestly i'd, I'd rather have dawn of hope than these responses so yeah i would I'd rather have Dawn of Hope there, so that could be, that could be a card to change there. But thanks for that donation there, Night Owl. It was a good run, six three, certainly a good run. So, thanks for donating to that deck. If you're watching here on YouTube, feel free to hit that like, subscribe. I don't know, whatever the buttons are, just push them all, and watch the other videos. And thanks for watching.